Hi guys, uh, right now I'm just going to show you uh, a great little thing called Tor and it's a very secure way of browsing although not 100% secure and it's much easier to use than proxies and a little bit more reliable in hiding your IP address. Uh, basically uses a system known as onion routing where uh, your packets and your uh, traffic that is coming or your network blah blah whatever is being uh, pushed through all these different nodes all around the world before it reaches its final destination and this pretty much kind of like not really encrypts although I'm pretty sure Tor is actually parts of it are encrypted but it hides where the original source came from and where it's actually going um, so it's a very secure way of browsing uh, if you want to know more about it just read this um, to download it uh, we're just going to go ahead and go here, pick your uh, operating system, uh, click this to download it. I've already downloaded it to save time, so we're just going to go ahead and open that up. It's a self-extracting archive. You don't really have to install anything. Ooh, maybe it's not. I think I deleted it by accident. Open. There we go. Alright, gonna run that, extract it to my downloads. Go ahead and go to my downloads. Let's, let me kind of move this around a bit. Okay. Go here. And all you have to do is click Start Tour Browser. I'll connect to Tor and it has a portable Firefox kind of in it so you don't really need to install or set up your browser or anything it'll do it automatically with you or for you alright so we, it says we are connected to the Tor network and Firefox should automatically start up there it is and one main thing about Tor it is incredibly slow so you're just gonna have to deal with it if you want to browse securely it's kind of freaking out on me a bit. Alright, and if you reach this page, you know you're using Tor. And let's Google. Probably take a very long time to load. And just gonna do that. While we're waiting, let's see if we can find out, find an onion that we can access just to show you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. any of these onions alright let's go back here alright probably should have prepared one of these before didn't help. Alright, anyway. It's still loaded. Very slow. Aha, here we go. Here is, let's see, the Wikipedia, hidden wiki. Notice, look at this very strange um, dot onion, and if I go to it in here, it'll automatically just deny me from accessing it. Oh yeah, it's saying my IP is somewhere in Pennsylvania, which is completely false, because I am <laughs> actually in uh, Virginia. And let's see if this works. I'm going to click use a new identity, and let's try reloading this. 173.212.232.194 While we're doing that, notice how the onion did not work in the previous thing, but we're just going to plug it into this. 
173.212. What did they do? Oh, that's the same place. But um, if you click this often, it'll give you a new IP address. But um, I actually did it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try it one more time. You guys are probably going to be laughing at me. Notice that this page is loading. Title's loaded. Just is very slow. So um, once you find these onion pages, you can go to them completely secure. I don't actually know the actual address. I don't even think there's an actual address for the hidden wiki. But uh, all right, I think I might have wasted enough of your time already. So, but I mean, it's really cool just to fool around with. As long as you don't do anything illegal on it, um, you'll be fine using it completely secure. You just have to deal with the slowness. Yeah, I don't know if I can deal with it anymore. I think all the resetting my identities got messed up. Nope. Look at change. That's what it was before. Now I'm in Korea. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, oh, and the hidden wiki's loaded. So this, you can just access sites like these and you can change your IP address with the click of a button. That is the beauty of Tor. So, um, this has been my security tutorial. If you'd like to know any more tutorials about security or other ones, uh, uh, make sure to leave a comment, check out my page, uh, look, go to the websites in my description. That's it. Quackware signing out from Korea, apparently. See you later.